the game can see the boxing boys. Joshua has, we've seen him knock down. Wilder we've never seen, so I, I kind of have um, Wilder on this one. Wilder has that killer instinct and that, he is a finisher. If he hurts you, he does, he will finish you. It's a really, it's a fascinating style matchup. I think um, probably it'll be like 60-40 in favor of, of Anthony Joshua. I think he'd probably be the slight odds favorite, but not a huge favorite. And I think a lot of people would be picking um, the underdog in that, Deontay Wilder. Him and Anthony Joshua is a fight that everybody would want to watch. You got the UK against US. You got two big heavyweights. I'm a big fan of Anthony Joshua as much as, you know, I, 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 I did 33 of Deontay's fights and I love Deontay and I wish him always all the best. But I think Anthony Joshua is the real deal. I've been back and forth on it, but when you just when you come down to to power, I'm gonna give that one to uh, Wilder. I would say it's a 50-50 fight, but I'm going with Wilder. I think he does have the eraser, but I think it will be not potential knockdowns from both of them. Oh wow! I, I think that Joshua needs Wilder equal to what I, Wilder needing Joshua. If, if I look at on paper, I think I think I think Joshua has an advantage in boxing skill. It's a little more polished. Wilder is a little more uh, reckless at times, but he gets away with it because of that power. And Joshua has gone down. So that, that gives Wilder a, a very good chance. You know, Wilder lands a good shot, Joshua's going down and possibly hurt him. So I think it's a very close fight. I, I might side a little bit with, with Joshua because I like the, the technique, the style. I, I prefer a boxer over an aggressive brawler and puncher, but I, you can't count out Wilder. Um, he's just so strong and you know one of those punches could definitely you know turn the fight around and he's able to get away with it all the time and, and I, th I think if, if it goes down I think it's definitely one of the fights that, that people are going to be very happy to, to uh, witness I mean, it's, it's, it's going to be fireworks all night. I think Wilder is uh, you know sometimes he can to get too, too excited when he hurt the opponent and um, you know Joshua is, is a very good fighter he's very calm and uh, very talented. I think for Wilder to win the fight, he have to start training now, uh, improve his uh, boxing skills and uh, uh, more technique. You know? So uh, if uh, he hurt uh, Joshua and uh, he can't finish him, Joshua will knock him out. Man, another great fight. Uh, Joshua, another dude who seems to have a lot of dimensions, you know, a lot of tools he can pull out, but I don't know about his chin. I don't know. I've seen a couple of amateur videos. I've seen some pro stuff. We've seen him be dropped, you know, so. But we've also seen, you know, Wild, Wilder and the amateurs, you know, get dropped and get hurt and the pros get some shots. So, again, man, that's a big matchup. Uh, hopefully it happens. You know, the fans deserve it. Boxing deserves it. But uh, there's a business side that people don't know about. And a lot of times these big fights, they take time. The only guy out there, I think, besides our young guy, that could get that um, Deontay will have problems with is Joshua. Um, and, 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 and I'm, I'm kind of 55 45 in Deontay favor right oh, now. Wow. That fight. I mean, I just think um, it might be one of them. Um, Deontay knocked Joshua out, Joshua knocked Deontay out in the rematch, and then the third fight could be 50 50. But I think both of them um, tremendous physical specimens, they both tall like basketball NBA players, and they and um. And both of them can crack. I got Deontay over anybody, any heavyweight, you know what I mean? I got Wilder, man, by KO. And, and on that fight, probably like the seventh round. Because Joshua always gas, gasses out. When he's going to fight Wilder, he's going to see that. The oxygen is going, he's going to have a lack of oxygen when he fight Wilder. Because Wilder is an athlete. It's going to be a good fight, you know I, I got to go with Wilder. No. No, I got to go with Joshua. Man. You can go with, okay, I got to change your mind. Yeah, I, like, I like Wilder, he's a U.S. citizen and everything. I love it because USA, he's representing us, our, our country. So I got to go with Joshua because I think Joshua is more of a, a boxer and he's more of a counter puncher and he can, he can bang too, he can hit. So we got to see how that plays off. If, if Wilder don't swing crazy and Wilder try to knock him out quick, We'll see, we'll see how that plays off. Well, the thing is, you look at Wilder, I mean, he's elusive in the ring. You know, he could box, he got punching power, he's lanky, he got hand speed, you know, he, he, he got some moves. And uh, 
you know, you got the European fighters, they're more stiff, you know, behind a jab and, uh, you know, not very slick in the ring. You know, that gives, that gives the fighter, a European fighter, a lot of trouble. So, uh, you know, I think, uh, I think he beats, uh, I think he beats Joshua. He's too slow. He won't be able to take it. He's too slow, Jack. Too slow for you. He's too fast. Too weak. Fuck! It's going to be a tough fight for both of them, but I think, um, you know, trying to land that right hand. He landed whoever land, you know. Deontay's right hand is, show, he's shown over the years that it's its a very powerful thing. And, and Joshua showed over the years that his right hand and his boxing skill is, is, is legit. So I think it'll be a good fight. Uh, I think their, their parity is very even. Uh, both very good, strong fighters. Wilder, of course, is tall, strong, quick. Uh, uh, Joshua's definitely a very strong fighter. He's proven himself in the ring with, with the best. So uh, that's an intriguing fight, you know? We haven't had those good heavyweight fights since, and I'm sure everybody talks about the same thing. It's like, since Tyson, nobody watches boxing anymore in the heavyweight division because it's not as exciting as it used to be. I gotta go Wilder, man. Wilder, man, he, he been, Joshua been doing good too, but you know, Wilder, he, I see he, he's more hungry. I feel like he's more hungry, and he don't want to call him for the fight. So he the more confident fighter in that fight. I think Joshua Wilder is probably one of the, the most exciting fights that could happen right now in boxing, especially that it's uh, two heavyweights. Um, two heavyweights that have, I think, nothing but knockouts. I'm thinking everyone have got distance, and I think Wilder once. So I think it's probably the most exciting fight you can make right now. And my pick for the fight, I have no idea. I wouldn't, I wouldn't pick one, I wouldn't bet against the other because both of them have that one punch knockout that could just end the fight at any moment. But with, with him, I don't think Josh would want to fight me. He don't want to fight his promoters. They don't want to fight me. See, they on the goal of of, of of trying to build this 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 resume or saying they want to be the first billionaire and stuff like that. But doing that, the plans all ends with me. The voice of the people, the boxing voice. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to get notified anytime one of our videos drops. The sight in the game, cause see the boxing boys.